Hey everyone, here is our math problem for today. When a conical bottle rests on its flat base, the water in the bottle is 8 centimeters from its vertex. Think of this blue shaded region as the representation of the water and the empty space inside the cone represents air. So from the tip of the cone to the water level, the height h of 1 is 8 centimeters. Now we turn this bottle upside down like in the figure at the right and this time the distance now from the base of the upside down bottle to the water level is h of 2 equals 2 centimeters. We would like to find the height of this bottle. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this geometry challenge. Now let's solve this problem together. Let's concentrate first on this first cone. Let's construct a right triangle and the height of this right triangle is h the radius at the bottom of the cone is also the length of the leg at the lower part of this right triangle and let's call that as r now in this part we also have another radius and let's call that as r sub 1 and we now compute for the volume of the water this first term gives us the volume of the bigger cone if we subtract the volume of this upper smaller cone its volume is pi over 3 times its radius which is r sub 1 squared times its height which is denoted as h of 1. So this formula will give us the volume of this blue water. The value of h is given to be 8 centimeters and we just copy all the rest. As the formula is written there is nothing more we can do unless we know the value of the big R or we know the value of R sub 1. So using similar triangles we can form this proportion. The ratio of the base of the smaller triangle here over its height h of 1 which is equal to 8 centimeters is equal to the ratio of this longer base which is denoted as capital R over the height of the bigger triangle which is capital H. And solving for R sub 1 we have R sub 1 equals 8R over H and we can use this value for R sub 1 to substitute to this R sub 1 in this formula and this is what we have. Simplifying h squared is 64, r squared is r squared, the denominator h squared becomes h squared here, we copy 8. Then simplifying further, 8 times 64 is 512 and we copy all the rest. Factoring out pi r squared over 3, the first term divided by this common factor, the result is h. The second term divided by pi r squared over 3 resulted to 512 over h squared. Now let's go to the second cone. Here is our second cone and this is now the volume of the water in the first cone which is theoretically the same as the volume of the water in the second cone because what we did is we just inverted the first cone to arrive at the second cone. So the volume of the water in these two cones must be the same. So let's remember the value of the volume of the water in the first cone and let's determine also the representation of the volume of the water in the second cone and equate that with the first representation. So if the height of the cone is h and this distance here is 2 centimeters then the remaining distance here must be h minus 2. And let's compute for the volume of the water of this inverted cone. Again, using the same formula, the volume is pi over 3 times the square of the radius times the height. This time, we are concentrating on this blue cone. Its height is h minus 2 and its radius is r sub 2. We need again to look at this right triangle and using similarity, we can form this proportion. We have here two similar triangles. The base of the smaller triangle is r sub 2. Its height is h minus 2. That is equal to the base of the bigger triangle with a base of r over its height, which is capital H. Solving for r sub 2, we have r sub 2 equals r times h minus 2 all over h. We can use this value for r sub 2 in place of this r sub 2 here. And here is now the substituted values. Simplifying, r to the second is r squared, the quantity h minus 2 squared is this part and the denominator h squared is this h squared and the denominator all the rest are copied. Then the square of h minus 2 times the quantity h minus 2 is the quantity h minus 2 to the third and here is now the result. If you are going to compare this now with this, these two volumes represent the same volume of water. These two expressions can be equated and we arrive at 
this result. This volume is this part. This volume here is this part. Now, there's a common factor here of pi r squared over 3 and pi r squared over 3 at the other side. And we can divide both sides by that factor. And what's left is h minus 512 over h squared at the left. The quantity h minus 2 to the third over h squared at the right side. Then multiply each of the terms by h squared. This h times h squared becomes h cubed. h squared divided by h squared is 1. So what's left is 512 here. And multiply the right side also by h squared. What's left is the numerator. The quantity h minus 2 to the third. Then using the cube of a binomial, we can expand the right side as the cube of the first term minus 3 times the square of the first times the second term plus 3 times the first term times the square of the second term minus the cube of the second term. Then simplifying, here is the result. Then h cube and h cube are the same also. We can subtract h cube from both sides of the equation. And simplifying, we now have this result. Then this is a quadratic equation. So let's write this in standard quadratic form. Subtract 6 h squared from both sides. Subtract 12 h from both sides. And add 8 to both sides of the equation. The right side becomes 0. This is divisible by 6. So we divide both sides by 6 to arrive at h squared minus 2h minus 84 equals 0. Using now the quadratic formula, here is now the result. h is negative of negative 2 plus or minus the square of 2 minus 4 times 1 times negative 84 or positive 336 all over 2 times 1. 4 plus 336 is 340. The square root of 340 is 2 square root of 85. And divide each of the terms in the numerator by 2 to arrive at 1 plus or minus the square root of 85. But h is the height of the cone, which means h must be positive. So we only accept the value 1 plus square root of 85. And this is approximately equal to 10.2 centimeters. So going back now to our main problem, what is the height of this bottle? The answer is 1 plus the square root of 85 or approximately 10.2 centimeters. And this problem is now solved. Bye for now.